Hey, my pretties, welcome back. So I have a quick haul for you guys. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've done a Dollar Tree haul, but I do have a bag full of goodies. <laughs> okay, so what prompted this haul is the other day um, I was at Dollar Tree. I did film, I showed you guys all the stuff and I did pick up some items. Every time I go into the craft section or of any store, I'm like, oh, I should start paper crafting again, but no, I don't have time. In my mind, while I was in Dollar Tree and I was looking at all this new stuff, I said, I'm gonna get it. Maybe if I see it at home, it'll prompt me to do some more paper crafting. I don't know when that's gonna be. You guys already know how that is. You wanna do it, but you're so busy, you can't get to it. And then when you can get to it, you just wanna rest. That's my dilemma. So anyways, let me show you guys some of the items that I picked up. Plus, I wanted to, um, uh, what, what was I about to say? Plus, I wanted to open up some of the, the paper to kind of show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so not part of the craft section. I did pick up some socks. I've been picking up the Dollar Tree socks a lot lately, especially the ones that have the tags like this even uh i think i got some smurf socks. yeah there's some more socks down in there so so far i picked up the beetlejuice the scooby-doo ones okay i got these for pooh bear because i just think he'll like iron man uh i got him also black panther right there I picked up a few of the Smurf socks because you guys know I am a old school girl. I love all things from the past. Whether it's Garfield, Smurfs, if they had Heathcliff, I would get Heathcliff. I mean, everything you could think of from our childhood. Well, some if you're my age, you know what I mean. Um, I just like to pick it up. Scooby-Doo, all that type of stuff. So I did get the Smurf socks. I can wear these around the house. I think those are cute, the pink. These, I got a feeling my daughter will be snagging a couple of these for me. So this pair, love the yellow heel. This one right here. Um, yeah, with the cute little hearts. And of course, you cannot have the Smurfs without having Gargamel. <laughs> so I got the Gargamel socks right here. And yeah, so not bad for a dollar. I think that was the last pair of socks. Uh, I did pick up these, the little blending sponges. So I got those. I chose to get some gumballs. I do have a cute little gumball machine and I put gumballs in. So I just picked up another pack of gumballs. Okay, so now the rest of this is the arts and crafts stuff. Okay, let's start with the little stamps. If you've seen the video of me doing the Dollar Tree walkthrough, then you've seen most of this stuff. So I'll start with the stamps, and it was this one right here. Just a little rainbow with the hearts. Right there. This one right here, I had to get. I think this is so cute. The dog with the crown. I got the sunflower. And the last one was this cat in some leaves. <laughs> right there. So, got those. Then I chose to get these peel and stick Chanel patches. When I picked them up, I was like, I'm thinking to myself, girl, what are you gonna do with these? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. You can peel and stick them on whatever you want. But um, I did get sassy. I love the purple and the gold. And what does it say? It is Chanel. So you have Sassy. I had to get Salty. Um, and Besties. Right there. And that is it for the patches. Okay, now moving on to the ink pads. I got three, five of them. So I chose all of these colors for the ink, pal uh, ink, what am I calling them, ink pads. And they have the cutest little names. So like Sweet Frosting, my favorite colors, Spandex Leggings, and Confident Pink. Um, 
delightful tidy mind Scandinavian blue and winter coat uh sunshade fruit cocktail henna honey and sour berries on that one and then there was two more which is purple and like this green set right there and the names on the green one is exotic plant i love veggies mindful mint and spinach shake <laughs> Purple is What a Sweetie, Eggplant, Punk Purple, and Blueberries. And I like those. And as I'm standing here talking to you guys, I'm like, you know what? I might just go ahead and, yeah, start messing around in my planner. I might not do a whole lot of crafts, but I might use some of this in my planner. Um, so then there was the eight note cards right here. Or I could make some note cards. So there was the black, white, and then the like craft color so all three of those and you get eight cards in each pack not sure why i picked up the disco towels but i did right there you know we've been seeing all the disco everything the ghost the mushrooms the mushrooms oh my god disco ball mushrooms have taken over every store so i picked up those you only get one sheet in there i didn't even know what i was going to do with this so i only picked up one um and then there was some embossed stickers right here so there's that set a lot of cute ones on there that's the back of it right there and in this set right here, looks like that. I love the record player right there. And that's the back. Look at this one right here. That would be the board, a border that you can use. Okay, so that's the stickers. And then I did get the paper craft sets, which these three I am going to open to kind of show you what you get in each set in just a second. So I got that one that looks kind of tropical. There's this one right here, the gold, black, and white. And then this one was the real cute one with the little, I think there's donuts somewhere in there and I like that coffee paper. So I'll open that, but before I open that, let me show you guys these. Cause in the store, I was looking at these scratch and sniff stickers and they had the food ones and they had the fruit. So here's the fruit and here's the food. And I talked about scratch and sniff stickers in the past. If you missed that video, go watch it. <laughs> um, we're not gonna talk about that again, but I wanted to see what these smell like. I was curious when I picked them up in the store to see if they all smelled exactly the same or if they had individual scents per each sticker. Like there's a french fry, there's a pizza. Uh, and let's see. So you get two sheets of the same one. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> it's not, it's definitely not like when we were growing up and you would scratch that thing and if it showed pizza, you get that funky pizza kind of scent. And then if it was popcorn, you get that buttery popcorn scent. All of these have the same scent, not much scratching going on. Um, they're just not like the old school ones. They It has a sweet scent to them. They all smell the same, so. Uh, they're still cute. I'm gonna still use them for something. But the fruit ones right here, let's see. I think they, the little the little kids will get a kick out of this because they'll know that they can smell the sticker. But for me, coming from the old school stickers that's really smelt like some stuff, nah. <laughs> They all smell the same. To be honest, they smell like sweet tarts candies. You know, the little sweet tart smell. They all smell the same, but there's it's not a strong smell. Very, very light. So I was very curious about these. 
wanted to uh, buy them just to smell them. So let me go ahead and open up these packs and I'll show you what's inside before I wrap up this video. Okay, so for the first set right here, which was the sweets, they all came with this right here, the little wooden banner and the string. Okay, so in here you get, let me move the bag. You get these, uh-oh, there's this one first. Really cute. Love the pinks and the little blues on that one. I wish you good luck. I love the gumball machine. So that's in that one. Then you get these tags. So if you're into crafting, you definitely want to look for these. You have some paper. Kind of has like that marble look to it. It says throw kindness around like confetti. I guess I should have just flipped it over. So that one, there's the one with the coffee. So the little paper and on the other side you have the flamingo ice cream. That used to drive me crazy when I did used to paper craft because in the paper craft books they always give you the double sided paper and one side would be a like super cute and then the other side would be cute too and you want to use both but you can't you if you cut up one side to use it then it's like you lose the other side that I used to hate that and that's what made me think of that. Uh, I could go without the flamingos though I would use that side but that's yeah that was something that I hated out them um, paper paper books um these right here really nice okay so that and then you get a second one these um die these are die cuts so kind of like cardboard you can just pop them out like that put a little sticky dot on the back make your own sticker that's what i used to do with stuff like this Really cute little set. Open 24 hours on that paper. The other side looks like that. And then you have this paper with the ice creams on the back. Okay, so that's set number one. I don't want to take up too much time. Like I said, there's this in each one of them, the little banners. This one says, hello love. So the gold and black set. You get these stickers. This one, the tags again. This, I guess this is supposed to be like, I would like card stock. I like the black. Like some cardstock or whatever you can use. They gave you two of those. This one. Uh, here's the cutouts or the die cuts. Right there. This one. Look at the cat. <laughs> And the little goat's stool. Mm -mm. And this baby right here with a beanie on. Okay. And then the paper you get with that one is that one. And this one. Okay. So moving on. This last one is the cheetah print. So you have these stickers. Oh, these are pretty. The paper. The tropical with the pineapples and the toucans. A lot of flamingos going on, huh? <laughs> that and then these die cuts no bananas they hear no evil see no evil speak no evil monkeys at the bottom bananas for you this set these little meerkats 
I like watching National Geographic. The meerkats are um, some of my favorite little animals to watch when they do the little documentaries. I like that. Uh, and then these are the papers that you get. That one and then this one. Oh, look at that. Today is wild and it's yours. That's what it says on this one. So that's it for this haul, you guys. I really just wanted to show you guys what was in those crafting kits because those are pretty good packets for $1.25. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna wrap this up. I know it wasn't a real big haul, uh, but <laughs> that's what I picked up. So I thank you guys for watching my Dollar Tree haul. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. You guys remember to hit that like button as well. And I'll see you all real soon in another video. Okay, bye you guys.